Well, hello, welcome to the ITL. This is actually done on my Thursday. Um, yeah, I guess I figure I'll go ahead and do the do a quick one week. It's almost a week review. A day or two shy of actually being a total week for the wise, um, say internet security camera. Um, the one that you know Suburban Rider sent to me to do redo review. I've actually got it set up on my front porch just temporarily to to uh, to try it out. And goods and bads, goods and bads, more good than bad. First place, the camera is not made for outdoor use. It's not. It's not. Actually, I'm checking my cell phone real quick just to make sure that I'm on video, right? My camera's moving a teeny bit on me. Um, the good parts, I mean, like I'll get back to what I was saying, it's not made for outdoors, not really. Not, it says right, in the, right on, online, it's not for outdoors. But I'll tell you, they make an outdoor case for it that the mount side your, on the side of the wall and actually the ones I've seen actually look like a little birdhouse, kind of cute. Um, so yes, you can use it outdoors. Um, you just gotta watch that you don't get it wet because of, you know, it's got little holes all through it and everything else. And the little birdhouse thing does cover it, all that up for you. Um, is, it ten, is it true HD 1080p? Yeah, you can actually view it on your, your Android devices via SD or HD, and they both work very well. I mean, actually, I don't have too much of a, of, of a problem with that, the apps, actually. The apps run beautiful on my equipment. Their online uh, services works really nice. The only big downfall, and there's two downfalls to it, but the, the big negative to, uh, the big downfalls is, you, 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 I got mine. I got it set up so I get notifications whenever there's movement. That way, whenever it kicks on, records the next number of seconds of video, I get a notification sent to me, which is nice. But whenever you are live viewing it on with their app, their app, you can actually do zoom in, and I mean the HD is so good. I mean, you can see really, really good detail whenever you do a zoom in. You can't do that with their playback though. Um, that should be something they should fix on the app, in my eyes, because you should be able to zoom in to get that plate number or zoom in to get a detail on a face or whatever. And it, but they, what they want you to do basically is you download it and then you can use your own software for it via video editing program, whatever. Um, myself, I'd rather see it on the app. That way, it's all, it's all in one. It's not, you're not going from one app or one program to another program. It's all one self-contained. That way, if you gotta go to a safe for police station and show them what you got, what you got in the video, you can show them to them right there on your app, and it, it, it's, it's all there. To where it's way it's set up, it's not. It's done. It does have where it'll alert to you if there's audio outside. And that's actually pretty good too because it has it where the, uh, oh, where you've got a uh, smoke alarm or a carbon monoxide detector. It'll actually detect that cer those certain tones and let you know. And if something, say, uh, you can use it as like a baby monitor and it would work good for that. Um, Set up the way I got it on my front porch with all the street noises and stuff. I can't use it no matter how much I bring it down The sensitivity down, excuse me it, it, It's always there's always a noise there that will kick it off. So it's like no turn off turn off the uh, set, The audio since the alerts on it, but saying that even with them audio alerts turned off the uh, the communication back and forth is still there I mean, if you get, uh, it's going to tell you if, if it's got motion, there's somebody coming up the camera anyway. But so you can hit it, go live, and then you can actually have, they can actually talk right to you. And you can talk to them through the camera. And to be honest with you, the audio isn't that bad. 
In fact, I've tried it out both directions, and it, it's not that bad. It's, is it the best? No. It's not like they're standing right in front of you, but it's very, very, it's very clear, very, I mean, it, I have no complaints about that one bit. As long as you can make out what they're saying, and it doesn't sound too, too bad, uh, it doesn't have to sound like they're standing right in front of you. Um, because they're not. Uh, but yeah, I've actually got it. Oh, you know what? I'll go ahead and try to download some pics and stuff and just pop it in during my talking here. That way you just guys can see. Because I mean, where it's at, no, I'm not, I'm not planning on keeping it there. It's not going to be part of my system there. This was just a trial just to see how well it would work. And I actually got some, some night views and day views. Oh, that's another thing too. Uh, with the motion detection, on the nighttime headlight, car headlights tend to kick it off a lot more than my wired cams do. do. The sensitivity is a lot better. I could probably tone that out a teeny bit, but I really don't want to. I mean, it's a catch-22. Either, either you get the sensitivity, have the sensitivity up so you can pick up uh, small movement or I mean, medium movement. Or you block it out. It ends up you blocking up, blocking out too much, and then then you're being robbed blind, or somebody's coming by and smashing your windows. And I'd rather I'd rather just be the nuisance of getting up every morning, clean out my my messages, or or just whatever. You know, I'd rather have the hassle. That's just my personal opinion, my personal feelings. Other people might have different. It's that's it's, it's all in my eyes. You do see that I'm in the garage, and this is actually, well, because it's raining out. <laughs> it's raining out. And so I'm stuck here since it's damp out. A lot, my one light's actually out. I really should get an outdoor light for that someday. So I don't have to worry about messing with like this. Um, so I apologize for the uh, how dim it is in here. But yeah, I mean, that was uh, the camera. I have no Would I... So far, would I said tell somebody else to buy it? Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Um, the long term, I would still w wonder about because this has only been a week, and I figure what I'll do is from here on out. Is since this is technically the beginning, that I mean, you'll be seeing it on uh, the first, second day of the, of the um, month, so. We'll say the first first Saturday of, of the month, I'll go ahead for, say, six months, say five, yeah, for six months, I'll go ahead and share review, see how touching goes down, just really how quickly, if it's still working, if it's, if it's, I'm having a hiccup or whatever. And I did notice I was getting a little bit of interference the one night, um, but I think that was, did I notice a car was going by? And it could be a, a mistuned up car. It could be, I mean, you're talking wireless here. Interference can happen. Um, but yeah, that, 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 it's just very, it was very mild, very short, it, like a sec, split second. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't troublesome at all. Um, but yeah, bike's still down. I'll be, by the time you see this video, I'll be, the parts will be already ordered for it. And I'll be waiting for it to come in. It should take maybe a week, two weeks for it to get in. Hopefully the bike will be on the road here after a few weeks, and I'll be back on back riding. But yeah, this is Muzzle Mike. Hoping y'all have a great week. Signing out.